what I'm going to quickly show you is just how to convert a single single hose bib okay. to a double. Yeah, so, that, looks, that looks pretty much like what I have at home. So, so just unthreading. Okay. Okay. All hose bibs, as I mentioned, male, female end of the hose. Okay, so you just got to make sure you got the right things. As I quickly showed you earlier, yep. this is a double. Okay. okay. Also available in a quad, in a four. Now these particular ones that I'm using are brass. Recommend brass again because they're a little bit sturdier. So all well, you, you gotta do, take my female end, thread it onto the hose bib. Oh, so it turns because I was concerned yeah. about mine being close to the wall and having to yeah. turn the whole unit. Yeah, so the coupler just turns That's so you can cool. hold this straight. Okay. Just hand tight. You don't shouldn't have to over tighten it. Okay. If you're still leaking, uh, likely because you forgot to put trusty little hose washer in there. Okay. Sometimes they fall out. Good gardeners always have them on their key ring, and of course, <laughs> uh, I don't have uh, my key ring, so I just okay. got my finger here. So that enables us to simply have two turn off points. That's great. On off, on off. So you could leave your main water on. Right. Right? And use the two individual taps for turn off. So just simply then reconnect your hose, the hose number one here. Okay, so all we're doing is threading on the first one. I already awesome. peeked in there to see that I had a hose washer. Okay. So in theory, in theory, of course, shouldn't leak. So everything should always not need much more than hand tightening then. Yeah, just hand tight. I mean, uh, some people's hand strength, of course, yeah. may be a little bit different <laughs> than others. Okay. Again, I've already checked. We got a hose washer. I'm threading my second hose on. Okay. So again, I'm just doing a, I'm doing hand tight. Cool. I see that this is off because actually this one has indicators on it. Let's see the indicators there. Where are they? See off and on. I don't know if you can quite pick that up uh, on the camera. See, I can get that in there somehow. Oh, there we go. All right. So Very I just cool. followed that and hopefully it's correct. I've seen okay. it. So counterclockwise, looks like it's off. I'm turning on my main water. Right. Okay. So what is that saying? Uh, uh, righty tighty lefty righty, loosey. Tidy, lefty loosey. <laughs> That's the one. All right. All right. So water's on. Okay. And I see actually my hose bib is dripping here. It's actually not the connection, but the hose bib itself is oh, wow. uh, is leaking. And actually at home, if you have that, you can take a wrench. And unfortunately, I don't have a wrench. And you see this little nut here, just on top. If you give that just a slight tweak or okay. a, just a little bit of a turn, right. sometimes even so much as an eighth of a turn, okay. that little drip there will stop. Anyway, so we've got That's our water tip. on. We've got yep. our water on. We've got both of our hoses off still. And as you can see now, we can control this one individually. Oh, I got water here on this one. So Andy, this is the one going up to your deck. And now your second hose going to your backyard. Awesome. And that's uh, how simple it is to split one to two. Simple little part, nothing involved.